I found another video, The Preacher, Austin. It's just interesting. I thought I should watch it with you guys. Just give my thoughts. You can give your thoughts, what you think, in the comment. Let's get it. When you came on Piers Morgan's show a while ago, he asked you about homosexuality, Christianity, homosexuality. And almost every time we have a pastor on, it's a conversation we have. And you, you are known for these uplifting ceremony services, and you talk to a lot of, what's like 45,000 people who attend. And I always wonder, when you are, you say homosexuality is a sin, and there's a bunch of people who clearly are, are gay, who are, are in your church, you're calling them sinners. I mean, that... Well, so that it's I the think opposite of uplifting. <laughs> she says it's the opposite of uplifting. Um, what I would say is like we're all sinners. Just so everybody knows, we're all sinners. I know what she's saying. I, I get what she's saying, but still, we are all sinners. And I just feel like she's saying that because he doesn't preach about sins as he should be preaching. That's why. So if he. You're a preacher, you're always preaching about uplifting, and what main problem is sin. That's what it is. That's what main problem. That's what the three letters, S I N. That's it. That is being. That's why mankind is so down. That's why Jesus Christ had to come and save us. You know that is why because of those three letters. For a preacher, he should be preaching more about those things because you don't want to. I feel like he doesn't do it because if you know he's holding back, he doesn't want to hurt people's feelings. Bro, you got to put it out there for people. People need to know. People need to know this. It's a big deal. Big deal. God himself had to come and deal with this. It does, but one, one, I don't necessarily focus on that. I only talk about that on the interviews. One, one, I don't necessarily focus on that. I only talk about that on the interviews. I mean, so don't you think, though, that with the, with the country struggling with increasing acceptance of all its citizens and your, for basic fairness for everybody, that in situations where, like, we're trying to pass these marriage equality bills in certain states now, that you ought to, you have an important voice to lend to that, especially to kids who are maybe worried about who they are and where they fit in the community? Well, you know, I think I have an important voice, but I'm very, I think I've been good. I think part of my, if you want to call it success, is I've stayed in my lane, and my lane is lifting people's spirits, and there, there are issues that good Bible-believing people see on both sides of the fence. I, I, but So my question is, when you're talking to your 45,000 people in your, in your service, and some of them are gay, you're saying to them, you're a sinner. Well, surely that first off, uh, in my services, I don't cover all these issues that we talk about no, I, here. Yeah, so I mean, it, then what do you cover? What do you cover? I I want to know. Like I don't. What do you talk about? What do you talk about? I get that you want to help people feel better. You want to help people feel better. You have to explain. You have to put it out there to people, man. The reason many people don't know certain things is because we don't we, we don't put it out there for them as they, they need to know. Sin is bad. It's pretty bad. You should be talking about it all day, all week, all year. It doesn't matter. You should be talking about it again and again and again. I get that people want to feel up there, but what do you, what do you, you want to feel up there when you're full of sins? Like you don't want to hear you want, you want to hear the things that you need to hear, or you want to hear only what you want to hear. That's that's a problem with this with this these things nowadays. We go to real churches, man. Like tell the people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. That's I feel like that's what he preaches to the people. I don't know. I I, I don't watch his thing, but for what I've seen, it's just I don't get it. Tell people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear that's why even life like even in what their their lives it's like people most people don't want to hear the mistakes they don't want to you they don't want to hear you correcting them they don't want to hear like how can you be better how can you be better if you don't get the correction if you don't if you don't learn from your mis from your mistakes if you don't if you don't take it as it is like if if you don't you have to accept it accept who you are Accept who you are, accept who you are, and work on it, and be better, and pray on it, pray on it, pray on it, be better, accept who you are first, that's the main problem, many people don't accept themselves, you don't accept yourself, but you want other people to accept you as you are, I don't, I don't understand it, God made you, you don't accept who you are, why? You don't accept who you are, but you want other people to accept you. You got to love yourself. Like, if you don't love yourself, you know, if you don't accept who you are, that means you don't, you don't love yourself. But you expect other people to love you. 
you how you know I am, and i don't understand all those all those issues and so you know i try to stick on the issues that i do understand and i i don't know this i'm for everybody i'm not for pushing people down and obviously i've watched the story on bullying and stuff other things he he said he doesn't understand those issues what issue are you talking about what is this guy talking about what issues exactly is that they asked him one question one question one thing he said he doesn't understand like he doesn't know like what do you say i don't understand those issues so, you know, I try to stick on the issues that I do understand. And I, I don't know this. I'm for everybody. I'm not for pushing people down. And obviously, I've watched the story on bullying and stuff, other things like that that comes from it. So I don't know where the fine line is, but I do try to stay in my lane and, you know, lift people's spirits. That was it for the video, guys. That was it for this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Shout out to the people that made this video. We're going to be back again with some more videos.